Okay guys, I'm going to make another video for you showing you how to also take off your N95 mask with your Tyvek suit and um, let's get started. Alright, so once you get your suit on, step into it. You know. Don't mind my dog. Alright. Once you get it on, um, slip it all the way up to your neck. Now you're going to grab your 95s. Put uh, the top strap around the base of your skull. I'm sorry, the bottom strap around the base of your skull and the top strap around um, the top of your head. They usually have this um, metal bridge here. You want to pinch that around the bridge of your nose. Uh, you can exhale forcefully. I don't feel any air coming out the bottom or the top, so I know it's I know that it's sealed right. All right, I have two pairs of gloves on here. Um, I'm going to tape my sleeve to that outer glove, and again, I'm just laying it on the seam between the glove and the uh, sleeve, kind of loosely so that when I take it off it doesn't pull pull that glove with the uh, doesn't tear when I'm trying to take my suit off so you want to lay it on kind of loosely and then just tight it around the uh, edges there to make sure it's sealed right all right same thing with this side one side on the suit one side on the glove kind of loosely lay it around Tighten it on, make sure it's sealed good. Now there's no air pockets, there's no holes. Alright, I know I'm good. Okay, I'm ready to treat, oh I'm sorry. And then put your hood on. <laughs> so put your hood on and make sure there's no hair poking out. Now I'm ready to treat my patient. Okay. Now the first thing you want to do when you're ready to remove your PPE is take your hood off and roll it away from your head, okay? Now grab your zipper. Being careful not to touch your neck. And uh, zip it all the way as far as it will go down. Grab the outside of the suit here and roll it away from your body. Now I'm going to pull one arm as far as I can out. I'm going to use the inside of the suit to help me get this glove off. This is kind of the tricky part, so be patient here. I like to kind of pull it slowly to see if it's going to come off on its own or if I need to help it, I think it's going to come off on its own. No, it's not. Alright, so I'm going to use the uh, inside of the suit and I'm just going to grab the edge of this glove and pull it off with it. Because with that tape there, the, uh, the very edge of the glove wasn't, wasn't exposed to the patient. Now with my um, that first glove I have on that's uncontaminated, I'm going to help my other arm out of this sleeve. And I still have my mask on. All right, I think it might pull off. It also might not. Okay, so I'm now gonna grab the edge of this glove again that's not ex exposed because of that tape I put on and just pull that off, still remaining that first glove on my hand. So I have two uncontaminated gloves on now to help me get the rest of this off. So I'm gonna keep my mask on right now. Um, you're gonna roll your suit down and away from your body without touching the outside of the suit. Down the way, down the way, down the way. Okay. Let me put it out here. It's gonna be a little tough sometimes when you have boots on, so okay. I'm gonna ball it up into itself. Alright, and you're gonna dispose of this properly. All right, now I'm gonna take my mask off, still with my uncontaminated gloves. Um, you're gonna grab that first strap, pull it around over your head. Now grab the second strap that's around your the top of your head here, pull it away from you and away from your face and dispose of that too. Um, as far as the respirators go, 
I think that you would just need to sanitize the outside surfaces that may have been exposed to the patient so you can reuse them. Um, now for these gloves, I'm going to grab the edge of this one, uh, pull it away from my hand, ball it up into the other glove without touching uh, the outside of the other glove, and run my finger down my wrist. And now I'm ready to wash my hands.